In the first half of 2020, we saw the fastest stock market crash in history. We saw the fastest growth in unemployment in history. The United States entered a recession. And on top of all of that craziness, the stock market saw its best quarter in more than two decades. What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh from the MinorityMindset.com and welcome to the Minority Mindset. In one of the craziest financial turn of events that I've ever witnessed in my life, we went from seeing the stock market crash faster than ever with it breaking the records of the Great Depression in March. Then we saw the S&P 500 have its best 50 days ever in April, May and June. And then on July 1st, we find out that the stock market had its best quarter in more than 20 years. So uh, what's going on here? Well, you have a simple answer and then you have a more educational answer as to what's going on. So let's start with the simple answer. Our years are divided up into four economic quarters. The first quarter is January, February, March. The second quarter is April, May, June. March of 2020 was a horrible month for the stock market. That's where we saw the stock market crash more than 30%. So we entered April or the second quarter with the Dow Jones hovering around 20,000 points, which is way lower than it was just a few weeks prior. So if you start the second quarter way down here and then you have all the stimulus happening in the stock market and you see this quick rally, then all of a sudden between April, May and June, you see the stock market rally 30% and now you have the best quarter in decades. Now, while the stock market is up for the second quarter, it's still overall down for the year. So make sure you look at these news headlines in perspective and don't just analyze what's going on in the world based off of a headline. I mean, when people say that this was one of the best quarters in decades, we're just taking a snapshot of a certain period of time. It doesn't give you a full glimpse as to what's happening in the stock market or the economy. What's even more important for you besides just looking at the snapshot is understanding what's really going on in the stock market behind the scenes that way you can make good decisions with your money which is what I'm going to be talking about today so make sure you watch this video until the end but before we get into that hit that thumbs up button below because if you don't then uh, YouTube doesn't share our video with anybody else subscribe to the Minority Minds YouTube channel that way you don't miss our new financial education videos every single week and Hit that little notification bell too because if you don't, then uh, YouTube doesn't let you know when our new videos are released. It is a very weird time. The United States is in a recession. We have tens of millions of Americans out of a job, although many people are now starting to work again, which is good, but we have this virus surging faster than ever, and so now people are worried about another round of lockdowns. All while the stock market looks like it's going back to normal. There are a few things that have been pumping up the stock market. The first and most obvious is the Federal Reserve Bank, or the Fed, buying up billions of dollars of bonds to pump up the value of the stock market because nothing makes Jerome Powell, who's the chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank happier than seeing his portfolio, I mean, the stock market in the green. Second is the growth of retail or non-professional investors and traders. So over this pandemic, we have seen millions and millions of people create their new or first stock market account and started trading stocks for the first time ever by buying stocks when they were cheap. And when you have more buyers than sellers, this drives the price of stocks up. Third is optimism in the future. Lots of people agree that this is not going to be the end of America. And so you have investors and people on Wall Street thinking, hmm, okay, yeah, maybe you won't go to Disney World this summer, but eventually people will start to go to Disney World again. And when people do start to go to Disney World again, then things will be better. So maybe we can use this as an opportunity to start buying because people keep hearing about states opening back up and economies opening back up. So people don't wanna miss this opportunity. Remember, the stock market isn't a direct reflection of what's happening in the economy right now. It is a place where people and investors go to bet their money based off of what they think is gonna happen in the economy in the future. Our economy will go back to normal. I don't know exactly when that will be, but I believe in our economy and I think that we will go back to normal. It might take some time, but it will happen. And so this can create opportunity for investors who are patient and who can find investments on sale buy them and hold them for the long term. Isn't it kind of funny how when Gucci goes on sale, people have no problem going there and giving them their money. But when assets go on sale, 
people start to question themselves. I'm not saying the stock market is just going to go straight up from here. That is absolutely not what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to be looking for opportunities when they come your way because this is going to be a long and choppy ride. The people that make the most money in the stock market are not the ones that buy stocks today and then try to flip them tomorrow for a quick buck. What's the fun in that, Jasperit? You know, I really like the way the personal finance author Ramit Sethi puts it. He says, would you rather be rich or sexy? Because if you want to be sexy, then yeah, go out and trade hot stocks and try to get rich quick. But if you want to be rich, then do the things that make people rich. Buy good companies and funds that are on sale and then hold them for the long term. Buying and holding isn't the hottest thing to do and it's not as cool sounding, but it works. And if you're talking about your looks, then uh, you need to eat a lot of guac because it's good for your skin and uh, you need to concentrate on growing that beard. Trust me. Are you guaranteed to make money when you invest? No, of course not. Investing has risks and you might lose money when you invest. So make sure you do your own due diligence and don't just blindly listen to a random guy on YouTube, even if that random guy has a beard. Who, me? If you want to invest in stocks, you have to use a stock brokerage like our sponsor Webull who doesn't charge you a penny to make a trade. It's free to open an account with Webull, they don't charge you a penny to make a trade, it's easy to use and you can invest in stocks right off of your phone or your computer and the best part of all is that Webull is giving Minority Mindset fans two free stocks just for investing with them. You get your first free stock when you open up your account and you get your second free stock valued at up to $1400 when you deposit $100 into your account. So if you want to learn more and start investing, I got the link to how you can get started and take advantage of this promotion in the description below. Minority Mindset is a partner with Webull, so if you use them, we will get compensated, but there's no additional cost to you. It's free to open an account, and they don't charge you a penny to make a trade. They make their money when they sell margin, and you're not required to take on any margin. So if you want to learn more and get started, I got the link to where you can do that in the description Below. The interesting thing that we're seeing in the stock market is that uh, we have investors sitting on more cash than ever. When investors are sitting on cash, that means they have money that they haven't invested in the stock market, which means we have a lot of money sitting on the sidelines that's waiting to be invested because these investors are waiting to figure out what in the world is going on. Once these investors sitting on the sidelines say, okay, I think it's time to get in and they start using their cash to buy, there's a good chance then we will see the prices of stocks go up. Remember, the price of an asset, in this case the stock market, is determined by supply and demand. When you have more buyers than sellers, then the price of a stock will go up. When you have more sellers than buyers, then the price of a stock will come down. During this pandemic, the buyers were the retail or non-professional investors and none other than the Federal Reserve Bank and these groups helped push up the price of stocks. Again, this doesn't mean that the stock market is at rock bottom. I mean, there's a very good chance that we'll see the stock market come down more, but what this does tell us is that there's a lot of buying power that wants to be used in the market that hasn't been deployed yet. There's a lot of craziness happening in the world and the markets right now, and there's a lot of people watching how the United States is going to respond to the spiking number of cases. It's a weird situation. You have a lot of people that don't want to take precautions or wear masks, and so then when you hear the cases going up, people think it's a hoax, and then people say, why would you want to shut down the economy because now it's the government controlling businesses? So we're in a tough place. But if now economies start to shut down again and businesses are forced to shut down again, we could see another round of mass layoffs and that would be devastating for the economy. Like we have an airline industry in the United States that cannot even fully function because there are major countries around the world that have banned travel from the United States because of the rising number of cases in the United States. So it's one thing to be optimistic about the future. Like I'm very optimistic about our future. However, as an investor, you want to make sure that the companies are investing in have the cash and the resources to survive the slowdown and crisis because we don't know how long this is gonna last. And this is why it's so important for you to stay up to date on what's happening in the top finance and business news. That way you can make the best decisions with your money. If you're looking for an easy way to do that, that's why we created the free Minority Mindset newsletter where our team first breaks down the top finance and business news and then we show you how this news affects your wallet. That way you can be smart with your money. This newsletter is completely free and you can subscribe to our finance and business newsletter by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. By the way, our financial news emails are separate from our financial education emails. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with one friend. That way we can help spread the word. If you want to learn more about how you can grow a small stock market portfolio, I already made a video on this and you can watch this video on YouTube by clicking this button right over here. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.